Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a three box break of 2023 Panini Donners Football Hobby Edition break number five. One spot gets you two teams. All card ship. Big thanks to this group for getting in on it. Let's double you up, Sir Mix-a-Lot style. All 32 teams are in. Let's roll it, randomize it. Five and a five, 10 the hard way. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. After ten, we got Matt down to Lucas. Five and a five, ten the hard way for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. Got Buffalo down to the 49ers. That could have been a Super Bowl matchup. All right, here's how it shakes out. Matt, you have the Bills, Levi, last spot, Mojo, one of them, Vikings, Chris with the Falcons, Peter with the Seahawks, Matt, you got my Raiders, Lucas with the Eagles, Peter with the Bears, Matt with the Panthers, Jeremy with the Steelers, Robert with the Giants, Andrew with the Cardinals, Chris with the Bengals, Levi with the Browns, Joe with the Rams, Levi, the other last spot, Mojo team, Dolphins, Josh with the Jets, Jeremy with the Chargers, Joe with the Jags, Andrew with the Saints, Matt with the Broncos, Adam with the boys, Jeremy with the Packers and Titans, Peter with the Chiefs, Matt with the Buccaneers, Josh with the Patriots, Levi with the Lions, Adam with the Ravens, Robert, Texans, Peter with the Commanders, Matt with the Colts, and Lucas with the San Francisco 49ers. Now trades are allowed, so we're gonna alphabetize by team, we're gonna pause the video just for a little bit, and we'll see you on the other side. All right, welcome back to the other side of the trade window. No deals were done, so the list that you saw before remains the same here on a Monday. And here's the final official printout. Thanks, everybody, for getting in, for making this happen. Appreciate you. Another three-box break of Donner's Football in the store right now. So yeah, if you're watching live, let's run it back, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Good luck. It's sort of sad that we're winding down the NFL season. Only three games left. The divisional games were, for the most part, pretty exciting. I mean, the Ravens and Texans, Texans at Ravens, they were tied up at 10 in the first half. But then the Ravens definitely pulled away. The Texans really just couldn't get anything going offensively. That Packers-Niners game was pretty close. That was exciting. The uh, ill-advised throw by Jordan Love at the end kind of eliminated any chances for, for a comeback. Same with the Buccaneers. The, uh, Baker Mayfield had the ball back. Buccaneers had the ball back late in the fourth quarter with a chance to, you know, with a two-point conversion, chance to tie the game. But early interception, an interception early in the drive kind of kill those chances for Tampa Bay, but they had a great season. And then Chiefs-Bills was really exciting too. A lot of missed opportunities for the Bills. Kind of rooting for the Bills. We've seen the Chiefs a lot in the uh, conference championship in the Super Bowl. I was, would have liked to have seen uh, Josh Allen maybe advance to the Super Bowl, but... It's some missed opportunities, and of course that you know, the kick at the end, the missed field goal at the end, was a heartbreaker. But I guess I guess I'll be rooting for this guy right here. This is Lamar Jackson. So hopefully he'll, you know, he's got a lot of uh, accolades. Here's a power plus Amon Ross St. Brown. Lines, it'd be nice to see uh, see him in the Super Bowl. He's got a lot of other awards on his resume, but uh, be good for the hobby if he knocks out a knocks out a Super Bowl appearance and or win, right? 
He might even get MVP this year too. Be a hell of a season for him. Dalton Kincaid, that is numbered actually. Speaking of the Bills, it's going to go to Matt in Buffalo. 36 out of 100 on that one. He's had a pretty solid year too. See Zay Flowers in AFC Conference Championship action. There's a Elite Series. Bijan Robinson, there's Lawrence Taylor. Jordan Fuller. DK Metcalf. Bijan, of course, will go to Chris and the Falcons. Nice season for him as well. It's Will Anderson. Luke Keekley, Jameer Gibbs. George Kittle. And here's a nice one here. Here's Puka Nakua. What a season he had. Rams. That's going to go to Joe. Nice rated rookie card. Breaking a lot of records. Justin Jefferson, another Bijan Robinson. And a CD Lamb Orange, 88 out of 99. Nope, 85 out of 88. That'll be for the boys. That's going to go to Adam the Cowboys. Rated rookie Bijan Robinson. That'll go to Chris and the Falcons. Sort of a different surface on that Bijan. A lot of different parallels and stuff in here. All cards ship. This is Devontae Adams, Mark Andrews. And then Hooker, Schoonmaker, and a redemption. Any guesses on that redemption for bragging rights? And then Hooker's going to go to Levi and the Lions. Jameson Williams, 362 out of 410. Starting to look really good. So Aiden O'Connell and our relic is all pro kings, Lane Johnson, 144 out of 399. Big thick card stock there. Aiden O'Connell going to my Raiders. Matt with the Raiders. Josh Jacobs, I think with the new coaching hire for the Raiders, there's a good chance that he might actually... Sign a sign a deal with the with with my Raiders. That'd be nice. Fan of Josh Jacobs. All right, there were no guesses on this redemption. It is it is Jameer Gibbs, rated rookies portrait autographs. Yeah, he's he's kind of a common a common redemption of. A non-signer. Sign your cards, Gibbs. He's busy right now, I guess. But a nice one. That'll be for Levi and the Lions, Detroit. 
kind of crazy. We'll see him in the uh, NFC Championship. Anyone have any early thoughts on the uh, on the championship games? So the games are this Sunday, and uh, there's one at noon my time, LA time. That's Kansas City at Baltimore, and then the three thirty game will be Detroit at San Francisco. Obviously, I'll be uh, Sundays. I'm on the Fanatics live stream on Sundays. Unless something changes. I think I'm still on Fanatics Live on Sunday. Um, I guess we'll be watching that late game together. 19 has Niners and Ravens Super Bowl. That's, that's what I have as well. You know, I think, uh, I think Kansas City was able to take advantage of some of the Bills' mistakes and missed opportunities and missed field goals. They were able to get that win, but I just think Baltimore, just too good at home. Just too good in general. And then, great story for Detroit, but I think the Niners are just going to be a little too much for them. Road games in a row for Kansas City is also is also kind of kind of tough. All right, second box, second of three. Good luck, everybody. There's Jason Kelsey, 51 out of 62. Looks like he'll be calling it a career. That's going to go to the Eagles. That'll be for Lucas. And here's a CJ Stroud, the rookies. Nice. That'll be for Robert and the Texans. Avon Thibodeau, Derek Carr. I think the Saints are considering John Gruden to be their offensive coordinator or something like that. There's a rated rookie, Bryce Young, Vita Vea. That'll go to Matt in Carolina. Nice young. I guess jury's still out. I feel like we can't judge him based on the the coaching staff that he had this year. So he'll get a fresh opportunity next year. It's Marvin Jones Jr. Purple, 38 out of 46. It's for the Lions. That'll be for Levi. Cousins? What's going to happen with him? He's probably going to re-sign with the Vikings, maybe? So the Vikings move on, try to find a different quarterback. Tyler Scott. Trent McDuffie. Autograph. Champions here. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. 129 out of 299. Champ is here. It's going to go to Peter and the Chiefs. Nice. 
And we got an Anthony Richardson. We got an Elite Series Hendon Hooker. Nice Anthony Richardson for the Colts. That'll be for Matt. Got an Alan Lazard, uh, 19 out of 25 die cut, Jets. That will be for Joshua. And the relic is C.D. Lamb, 17 out of 3.99. That is for Adam and the Cowboys. All right, third box coming up. Let's see what the uh, if, you're, if you're into investing in the fortunes of a team, we got uh, Chiefs are the road dogs plus three and a half. Baltimore is minus three and a half. That, that hook could be a little tricky. According to ESPN Analytics, ESPN has uh, the Baltimore Ravens winning outright 63.6% .6 of the time. I wonder if uh, is Mark Andrews is going to be playing that game. I feel like he's close, but I'm not sure if that's going to happen. I think if that number gets to... Well, they opened at three. I think I, I put a little investment on that at minus three. Three and a half, not as... Obviously not as desirable. Unless, unless you're on the Chiefs. That hook could be important. Third and final box. Good luck, everybody. The line for the Lions Niners is uh, is seven. It's open at seven, holding at seven. ESPN Analytics has a, has the Niners winning seventy four point one percent of the time. There's another uh, C.J. Stroud, the rookies, Texans, Robert. Gridiron Kings insert. 
It's a Desmond Ritter die cut. 46 out of 75. Are they going to make a change at QB? Are they going to get Belichick? A lot of question marks for the Falcons this offseason. Chris with the Falcons. There's a Jameer Gibbs rated rookie card. And another Hendon Hooker. Could be the future of the Lions quarterback position. That guy's still there though. Uh, maybe a middle name variation. Probably a lot of variations in here. Randy Moss, Luke Keekley. There's another Bijan Robinson for Chris and the Falcons. And here's another die cut. That's a Travis Kelsey, 4 out of 25. He had a nice game in the uh, divisional round. It'll be for Peter and the Chiefs. Series Devontae Adams. There's Cousins. Jaron Hall. And there's the relic. A little bit of, little bit of glue right there. Oh! Relic and autograph. Jerry Rice. That's a nice surprise. That is six out of ten. Two color patch. An autograph that will be for Lucas and the San Francisco 49ers. Canton Kings. Nice. Aiden O'Connell, Tyler Scott. And these are some of the surprises that can happen. Donner's football. We've got another three box break in the store. Check it out. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Another die cut. Mike Evans this time to 25. Looking to maybe be a lifer in Tampa Bay. He wants to. I think both sides want it. They can agree. Terms. And there's Canton Kings, another great receiver. Tim Brown, it's my guy right there. 31 out of 199 for my Raiders. And that will be Matt in the Raiders. We got a Jaron Hall to 100. Vikings LB for Levi. And the last bits right here. AJ Brown. Khalil Mack. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Not a bad break at all. Jameer Gibbs. A lot of fun stuff here. Another uh, three boxer, like I said, in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next football break. Bye-bye.